AWS Organizations is great for organizations that plan to have multiple accounts. At times you may also want to acquire other companies or plan to merge with other accounts. AWS Organizations will work great if you got to have policies pushed through multiple accounts. But what if you would like to have shared resources between those entities or between those accounts? Let's say you created a VPC, a subnet or maybe a database in one account and for simplicity purposes you would like to have that database shared with another business unit which has maybe a different account. AWS Resource Access Manager will let you share the resources with the accounts that you have in your organization. If you have multiple AWS accounts, you can create resources centrally in one particular account and then use AWS Resource Access Manager to share those resources with those accounts. This does not mean that you can share all the services that you have under AWS. So we got about hundreds of services under this single account and with AWS RAM, you will not be able to share all of them. We'll speak about what exactly you can share and what resources are allowed to be shared with other accounts in some time. But AWS Resource Access Manager provides several benefits because you will be reducing a lot of operational overhead by just creating resources centrally in one account and then let AWS RAM share the resources with other accounts. So this will eliminate the need to provision duplicate resources in other accounts and hence reducing operational overhead. This also provides considerable security and consistency across resources because you will be governing consumption of shared resources using your existing policies and permission sets that you have achieved with your IAM. The experience offered to all the resource sets will be same because the policies and security controls pushed will be from one single account and not from multiple accounts. You get great visibility and auditability as well because you would be integrating that service with CloudWatch, AWS CloudTrail and hence you get comprehensive visibility into those shared resources and accounts. One of the best part is that there is no additional charge for creating resource shares and sharing your resources across accounts. Remember that cloud is a shared responsibility model. So when you share resources with other accounts, you are responsible for various security aspects like data protection, identity and access management, permissions, logging and monitoring, resilience, and also the holistic infrastructure security. The API calls that are made from other accounts needs to be encrypted with TLS if security is your key focus. Let's jump into the AWS portal and see how you can manage resources using AWS Resource Access Manager. Now what you have on the screen is the AWS portal and on the left hand side you see two main options. One is shared by me and second is the resources that are shared with me. If I would like to share resources with another account then I'll click on resource shares and then click on this little button which says create a resource share. The first thing to do is give it a name for example shared resources or something and then in this drop down menu you will be able to see all the resources that can be shared as on today. Just a minute ago I explained that you will not be able to share all the service offerings that we have in AWS as on today. You can just share the ones in this drop down menu. You can share Aurora DB clusters, capacity reservations, meshes, transit gateways, and subnets. So let's say if I'm sharing a subnet, I'll click on this subnet and all the subnets available in this region will be available for me. By default, I've got six subnets and then two subnets that I've created in my custom VPC. I can select them like that. And then if you scroll down to the bottom, you have these options to allow external accounts. In this field, you can search for a particular AWS account number or in your AWS organization service. If you have created an organization or an OU, you can type that in here. Once that is done, click on resource share. The entities in that particular account will be able to access these two subnets. Well, that's how simple it is. 
You can also see what resources have been shared with you by clicking on resource shares and everything that's been shared with you will be visible here. But one important thing is that you should enable resource sharing first. That is done by going to the settings and then checking this button. So by enabling this option, you're letting other people share resources with your organization. Just to summarize, AWS RAM or AWS Resource Access Manager will let you share resources that are provisioned in one account with another account in your organization or it could be outside your organization as well. Remember that not everything can be shared. It's just resources like Aurora, Code Build, EC2, EC2 Image Builder, License Builder, and all the options that you saw in the drop down menu earlier can be shared. You don't have to memorize all these services because it keeps on changing, and Amazon is quite innovative and they keep on adding services as and when there's a customer request and there's a demand. For more details, check the link in the description. Learn with Wits Labs. Success certified.